Hello friends, welcome to Laptex. My name is Nasir and today we will demonstrate you how to find out shorting in the motherboard and uh, how we replace the IC. All things we will demonstrate you. Now come and see what is the condition and how can we judge that uh, the board is required to change the IC. Let us plug in. This is the Clevo model. Last time I have uploaded the video of the same model. So, now see orange light is available on the board. So, I have worked in this place as you can see the controller I was burnt and uh, this is the manageable work I have done here. Okay, This is the switching IC. This is switching 19 volt from the DC jack into motherboard and uh, the other one the 6 number and 3 number I have connected. This is the switching pin off on off switch. Now you can see that board is turning on and uh, you can see the ampere it goes high and drop down. Now you see again ampere goes 350 milli ampere and it off. So what could be the reason behind it? So if we try to check the voltage let us find out I have connected the on off switch with a jumper wire so that it would be very much convenience for me to turn on the laptop. Now let us come and see it must be the RAM supply. So let us come and check the voltage first 5 volt is available 3.3 volt is available and uh, after turning on let us see that uh, do we get the RAM supply. So now you see the board is turned on but no RAM voltage, no PCH voltage. Now you can see that the there is a slightly voltage comes out 229 milli voltage come on the multimeter. So this is the PCH coil 1.05 volt and uh, core let us check core it is also 290 milli volt. So all the voltages are reduced in this case. So what is happening in this motherboard? So instead of checking with hot uh, plug-in, what you have to check that whether any shorting in the motherboard or not. First of all, let us remove the processor from the motherboard and uh, begin from the RAM section. So now you can see that uh, it is over limit and actually value you can see here it is around this 500 ohm. So it is good enough. Now let us check the PCH coil. So here you can see that uh, 2.3 ohm which is not efficient as we have discussed in our video classes that uh, what should be the actual value of the PCH and VCC IO coil. So here must be above uh, this uh, value this impedance must be above 4 ohm then we can consider it is ok. Let us check the core there should not be bip sound. So it is uh, around uh, 600 and 700 ohm. GFX is also healthy and uh, charging section is also healthy. So in this case what we have found that uh, our PCH coil is slightly reduced the value has been reduced. So now what we need to do here. So let us do one thing you have to inject voltage so that we can find out what is the actual problem maybe the IC could be heat or the PCH uh, we, will, we can trace this way. Now I have reduced the voltage to the 0 level and now what you have to do gradually you have to increase the voltage. Now this must be total load of the motherboard but a lonely PCH is taking too much load so that it seems that uh, there is a problem maybe now it is the thermal sensor now let me check this is the environment temperature 32 degrees Celsius let us reach on the PCH. So 32 degree is normal temperature and on the PCH let me increase slightly more ok. So now see 37 it is going up 38. 39 so it is getting heat okay so what we need to do here 
we need to remove the PCH and here we have the new PCH as you can see here we have brought the new PCH this is HM55 this is the first generation this is the first generation motherboard and now you can see this is the brand new PCH which we are going to replace in this motherboard and today you will uh, come to know that uh, how we can change the IC. So before you have to use the BGA machine the glue you have to remove from the motherboard okay. So the all corner is persisted with the glue this is the company glue and which is very hard to remove. So what you have to take help of slightly heat from the hot air gun. And very gently you have to remove it because uh, the track could be broken. Now what you have to do, you have to use a paste, BGA paste. And don't try to remove it with the uh, hot air gun because uh, mot the motherboard PCB will pop up and there would be a, a bubble will come out and you would not be able to replace the new IC. Okay, So avoid to use hot air gun. Now let's come, I will demonstrate you on the BG machine. I will remove it, I will clean the track and I will replace the new IC. So this is the BG machine. Zumo BG machine. So this is the part number of my BG machine ZMR5830 and uh, the concept of uh, operating the BG machine we have discussed in previous video. If you haven't seen that video you just go and see that video in our channel and uh, all the procedure we have discussed over there. Okay, You can take advantage of that video. Now this is the operation and uh, all things are set here. What I need to do only, only I have to start it. There are the feature we can save 100, video, uh, 100 profile in the same uh, BG machine. The different types of profile we can set. But uh, in my BG machine uh, we usually use the same type of profile for each and every ICs because we have experienced that uh, the so many ICs we replace. We know that uh, when we have to remove the CPU and when we have to remove the uh, NVIDIA and when we have to remove the Intel chip. So Now you can see that the temperature has raised to 265 degrees Celsius and uh, as we have uh, told you in last video that uh, if the IC is lead free then the melting temperature start to begin to melt and it will start to melt from the 260 degrees Celsius. Now let us wait because there are the so many things you have to observe like thickness of the ICs and uh, the glue or also consider so there are the so many things you have to care about and I think I think that uh, it must be come out now let's wait slightly more least uh, the track will be come out Now you can see we have taken out the IC from the motherboard. Let's stop it and uh, this is the manual pulling, we just press it. 